Indoor dining in NYC shut down. This is likely to happen in other places across the country as well. I've got my friend Joe Borelli, who is a city councilman here in New York City and a, a rare Republican on the New York City Council, joining us to talk about how this is going. Joe, great to have you on. Always good to be here. How's it looking right now, my friend? I mean, I saw over the weekend these outdoor structures that they've built in New York City. I know they have them in other places, too. Are, are the outdoor but kind of indoor structures going to still be able to operate, but normal interior restaurant dining is shut down? Is that the way this works? Yeah, which makes sense. So, so the outdoor, indoor, inside, outside, you could still do that uh, with the exception of the nor'easter that's going to blow in here over the next few days. So even that'll be out the window for these poor people who are struggling with small business restaurants in New York City. Um, but you are a history guy. And uh, if we played a little trivia right now, I would ask you to look back in all your knowledge to find one example of a president or governor or mayor who, who said we're going to enact a policy which is financially harmful to his own or her own citizens and then simultaneously tout statistics that prove that policy will be ineffective at any rate. And that's what we had on, on, on Friday with Governor Cuomo. He said we're shutting down dining. At the same time, he told us the statistics show dining is not causing nearly any COVID around New York State or New York City. That's amazing to me because w when we look at this now, the, the data seems to suggest that, that the transmission is mostly happening in homes. But are they not able to figure out, well, if it's not really happening in restaurants and dining, and most of the spread as aggregate numbers go is in the home, where is the initial spread to the, you know, the, let's say, head of household or whoever brings it into the home? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I think this contact tracing idea has been flawed from, from the very beginning. I mean, this was the reason given as why we couldn't open up restaurants and, 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 and dining and gyms, et cetera, in the first place. And then when we finally get the data, we're not really learning all that much. In fact, we're learning very little, right? If there was some data to indicate that, um, you know, 25, 30, 40 percent of, of cases were coming from restaurants, we could probably act on that. And we could probably all agree that maybe we do have to take some measures and uh, make some considerations, but we're just not. The fact that we're just saying 70 something percent are coming from the home uh, where people can do whatever they want and then leaving it up to God to, 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 to do the rest. It's unfair how that translates into, well, we might have to have another shutdown of restaurants, dining, gyms, uh, et cetera. Where are we on, on gyms at NYC? Cause that is one, if they shut down the gyms, I don't know, man, I'm going to be out there protesting in the nor'easter in the streets because to me, that just means everyone is more depressed, less healthy, and, and they've had almost no spread in gyms, too, which might be a shock to people. Well, it's funny you asked. I was about to flex for you in my, my athletic wear today. Uh, so gyms were allowed to reopen on Monday. They were closed the week prior. And now the mayor and governor, though, announced that New York City might have to go to a complete lockdown uh, soon so that those would once again be closed. So if you're following along um, and you get the impression that I really couldn't even tell you whether gyms will be open in another week or two, it's because even I, as an elected official in New York City, can not even fathom whether gyms will be open a week from today. But they're open today. Who are the people that are supposed to be the experts that are making these decisions or, or rather that are that are pushing these decisions, you know, the advisors at the local level? Because I feel like they've gotten a lot wrong, Joe. No, it's, it's, it's the governor. It's the governor and it's politics. It's it's not necessarily the, the health people. They're, they're just the rubber stamps. Um, look, I mean, we have indoor dining closed now in Manhattan. Manhattan has a positivity rate of 2.5 percent. The statewide positivity rate is 5 percent, meaning that the rate in Manhattan is half that of everywhere else in the state, meaning it's double as good if, 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 to, to, to mince the, the numbers. And yet Manhattan will have closed indoor dining, but Chemung County uh, in upstate New York will allow indoor dining where coronavirus is, at least according to their data, running more rampant. Science. Uh, Joe, uh, uh, what, what's going to happen? We've only got about a minute, but what's going to happen to small businesses in this city? Is, is there going to be some bailout program for them? 
No, I mean, the governor could tomorrow uh, authorize a deferment or an elimination of, of the state's quarterly income tax payments that uh, businesses are required to remit. And, and that amounts to, you know, just 8% of what their register would be over the past three months. But that, 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 that that's a grant. I mean, treat it as a grant. Give these people back their money. Let them hold on to it. Let them pay their employees. Let them pay the rent. Whatever they got to do so that hopefully in quarters one, two, three, and four of 2021, they're still in business to keep paying the taxes. I'm worried that a, that a lot of my favorite places and that are, you know, a big reason why people live in New York City is because of that, you know, the bar where you met your fiance, the restaurant where you celebrated your first promotion. You know, you just, it's such a part of our, our culture and our life here. I think, I think they're just going to be decimated. I, mean, I think it's going to be a, a, a bloodbath for these small businesses. And that's just, it's, it's really sad, but we'll, we'll keep the faith, Joe. Hopefully we got better days ahead. Joe Borelli of the New York City Council. Joe. Thanks for joining, man. Always good to talk to you. You too. Thank you. Hey, Team Buck. Thank you so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you like this video, please click that little thumbs up button so then it will log as liked. And also, if you want to see more great content from the first, please click subscribe.